Hey everyone! In this video today, I am going to be showing you guys how to make what I am going to call the overlapping dovetail friendship bracelet. This pattern is actually one that I found on bracelet.book.com and of course I will link it below for you guys if you want to check it out. But like all other patterns on that website, it shows you how to make the bracelet using pairs of strings. And lately with these patterns, I've been trying to figure out how to make the bracelets without having to actually make the pairs because I am just so tired of having to take the time to put my strings in pairs of two, make those knots, take the outer strings out, and then make new pairs and do that all over again. And with this bracelet, after doing a bit of researching and practicing, I figured out how to make it just like a normal bracelet instead of falling it in pairs. And it's actually super easy to make. I was a little surprised. I even did it with a sort of gradient. And I don't mind it, but I think I do prefer when the strings are a little bit more contrasting. So that way you can see every single color and how it makes the pattern look the way it does. And I'm terrible at naming things just in general, but I call this the overlapping dovetail because it actually looks pretty similar to the actual dovetail friendship bracelet pattern, but it isn't completely similar in the way that these crosses are, but I think it looks pretty close. So I actually really like the name that I chose for this bracelet. Honestly, I think you actually could use more strings and colors than what the pattern provides, but I haven't done any actual testing for that, so I can't really say whether or not it works, but I imagine as long as you had an even amount of strings, it might actually work. But of course, for the sake of following the pattern, I'm just gonna keep it down to the five colors. So like I said, you will need five colors and you will be doubling these strings so that way you have 10 strings, but two of them are going to be each of your color. And for anyone who is interested, these are the colors I am going to be using today. And one thing you wanna note about this bracelet is in whatever order you want these crosses to go in, you want to order your strings in reverse of that. You see how I started with my darker color and went to my light. And it did start with a dark color, but when you skip that, it goes from light to dark. And because I have totally random colors for this, I did sort of pick an order, but I don't really mind what the order turns out to be because the colors are so random. But if you are going for something with a gradient, just make sure you keep that in mind. So like I said, you're going to have 10 strings and two of them are going to be each of your five colors. And you want to lay them in a mirroring pattern like this is. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and then five, four, three, two, one. First, what we are going to do, it's actually pretty simple. We are going to take our outermost left strand and we are going to do four forward knots on our next four strands until we get it to the middle. So keep your other five off to the side for now. Pick up your first string and do forward knot onto the next four of your strands. And now that we have it in the middle, we are going to Move that off to the side just a little bit and we are going to pay attention to the right side now. So now that we're on the right side, we wanna take our outermost right strand and do four backward knots on all four of our strands and bring it to the middle. And now that we have our two first colors now in the middle and next to each other, you wanna take your two middle strands and tie them in a knot. You can do a forward or a backward knot. 
doesn't matter because of course they're the same color. So next we are going to pay attention to the outer edges right here. I'm gonna go back to the left side. Take your newest outermost left strand and instead of going to the center, we are actually only going to do forward knots on our first three strands. So our middle strand doesn't even matter right now. And then once you have that, we're gonna go back to our outermost left side with our newest color. And we are only going to do two forward knots on our two strings right here. And finally, our last step on the left side is doing a forward knot on just our first strand closest to our working strand. And now we are done on our left side, so we can go ahead and kind of just move this out of the way for now, because now we are going to go to the right side and repeat exactly what we did on the left, but of course we're gonna mirror it. So we are going to take our outermost right strand and we are going to do backward knots on our very first three strands. And now that we have that, we're gonna come back to our right side again. And this time we are only going to do backward knots on our first two strands. And then our last step on this side, we are going to take our newest outermost right strand yet again and do backward knots on just this first strand. And now that we have that finished, we are actually going to take our outer strands on our left and right side, and we are just gonna pick them up, throw them off to the side because we will not be knotting onto them on this step. And it just makes it easier to kind of throw them out of the way so that way you know that you won't have to knot onto them. So we are going to focus on our two middle strands right here. And I always like to start on the left. You can start on the right if you want to and then do the left side because like I said before, this is a mirrored pattern. But I just like to start on the left, so that's what I'm gonna teach. But we are going to take our center strand that is more on the left side. And we are going to do backward knots on all three of these strands right here. So go ahead and take that strand and bring it over to the other side by doing three backward knots. And then we're gonna repeat the same thing on the right side, take this center strand and do forward knots on all three of your strands. And now we can actually go ahead and even take these two outer strands and move those off to the side as well because we won't be knotting onto them for this next step. So now you should only have your three middle colors sitting here. And what we wanna do first is take our two center strands and tie them into a knot. And take our first middle strand that is closer to the left side. And we are going to do two backward knots on both of these strands right here. And then once you have that, 
probably guessed it, we are going to take our center strand closest to the right and do two forward knots. Now that we have that, we're gonna take our two new inner strands and we are going to tie a knot again. And then starting on the left, we're gonna take that center strand and we are actually only going to do one backward knot this time onto the string next to it. And then again, on the other side, take our center strand and do a forward knot on the string next to it. And then once we have that for this step, all we are going to do is just tie our two new center strings together. And that is technically the end of the pattern. You would just start from the very beginning, but this time your colors are in different places. And they are going to continue to change throughout this bracelet, of course, until you get to the first color again and then it'll start over, but your colors are going to always be changing. So you just start from the beginning. You go ahead, take your new outer strands, bring them to the center, and then do your left side, what we did before, then do the right. Take your middle strands and kind of bring them outwards to close up this little section up here. And then we do this tiny little half sort of diamond shape. And then you just keep going and going and that's how you make this wonderful looking bracelet. I absolutely love this bracelet <laughs> and I'm so glad that I found a really quick way to make it that I can share with you guys, of course. So this is a very simple bracelet and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video for today. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.